Jason, and this is Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. Today, we're back where it all started. This is the bridge where we came for our first magnet fishing trip. It's also the bridge where the first time we went magnet fishing, we found a gun. Let's get that magnet in the water and see what I can find. Today, I'm using The Beast by Rogue Magnetics. Make sure you check out the description below. You can find a code and a link to save 10% off on a Rogue Beast box. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So this will be my first time fishing with uh, the Beast here. So I'm gonna see if we can pick something up we haven't found here before. Already, it feels like we may have latched on to something. Oh. Get it loose here. See some bubbles coming up out there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. All right, I think we just came off, but whatever it was is moving. I'm gonna pull this in see if we have anything on and then we're gonna cast back out there again still have some bubbles coming up way out there all right so we've got our first cast done let's see if we've got anything on the magnet Nope. Alright, so we've moved down. Looks like I may have something on here. Alright, so looks like a bunch of rusty nails. Alright, we've got something on. It's like some sort of a metal plate. Maybe some writing in blue here. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get this off. Take a look at it. The St. Augustine Wrecker. Hey guys, um, one of our trips here with Jason from the Magnetic Squatch, we found a newspaper dispenser and this must be off it. Oh, we got something small here. It looks like a small piece of metal of some sort. Now. Hey guys, I think I have something on. <laughs> All right, so I already know what this is. This is some gun parts. We found these before. So, um, me and Katie from Tide Water Magnet Throwers, we found a bunch of these. Inside are a bunch of gun parts. Let's see if I can break this up and show you at least some of it. sure what part of the gun that is for or that is but I know they're gun parts because we found them before and these little wrenches found these the first time we were out we found them since then and I'm assuming these are more gun parts if you guys know what part of the gun these are to, go ahead and leave it in the comments. All right, so I believe that's another hammer to a gun or what's left of a hammer. Wow, it's 
looks like we've got some fishing line and a stick. We got that mess out of the water there. All right, got something. Looks like rebar. Nope, I'm not sure what it is. It's part of the bridge, I'm sure, but. little guy I'm not sure what it is you guys know leave a comment below we're gonna switch sides not much luck here and here's the other side and I'll go ahead and hopefully have better luck on this side if all right with that cast we have a piece of rebar and some bits and pieces guys so we found one of these puff puff pass all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get the intimidator on and throw this out there see if we can find anything it's like another piece of rebar Do get a treble hook. All right, so we've got this little piece of metal and blue screw. Big old piece of rebar. Almost doesn't fit my bucket. It's hot out. I'm tired. And I'm gonna go home. With that cast, we do get a knot. And a couple pieces of, looks like chicken wire type wiring. And with that last cast, we found this. The leaf spring guys not sure if you know let me know in the comments so not a bad day found a couple things nothing exciting that uh drug paraphernalia was kind of cool but we got out we got some stuff out of the water that's good so remember guys until next time where there's water there's daddy and daughter